Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of it. I am Penge, and look what's back, it's Train Station Simulator! Surprise! I bet nobody expected that to come back after the, uh, let's call it less than gleaming review that I gave of it last time I played it. However, I am now going to give it another chance, and that is for two reasons. One, the devs have listened to what people have said about the game, and they have made some changes, and they have made lots of changes for the good. Lots of quite good changes things that people have asked for and people have said hang on this is a bit silly so for example there's now speed controls you can't pause but you can go double and treble speed and they've reduced the number of people that seem to drop dead on your platform and also from the little that i've played of it i've played it a tiny little bit just to get used to the new things and how it works uh, there seems to be a lot less litter and stuff around the station and the second reason i'm bringing it back is that it was surprisingly popular I'm actually surprised with how popular this was. More than a few people have got in touch with me in various means, so whether it's comments on YouTube or a message or whatever, and have said, I really enjoyed that. Can you please do some more? I know you weren't overly fond of the game, but I would love to see you play some more. So here we go. Let's play a little bit more. So there we go. Early access, 23rd of December. So it's very recently been updated. Here we go then. So let's go to new game. Let's start what we did last time. Let's continue here. So we're going to do the campaign mode. Go from 1970 to 2010. 200 grand, easy. Let's give this another go. So I have played a little bit of this. Look up here, look. There's already speed controls visible. It's lovely. And there's different bits down here as well. I think there's some stuff down here that's slightly different. You can take out loans and stuff. I can't remember if that was in it before. Uh, there are still some bits where it does need some work. It is far from perfect. For example, walls are still a little bit strange. Walls are a little bit weird. Oh, hang on. We need to take out the trees. Move over, nature. Progress is coming. Trains are coming. Get out of the way, nature. There we go. Don't want trees. Uh, walls are still a bit strange, so you can't kind of build on the other side of a wall, which is why, currently, our station is going to have no walls, <laughs> which might look a bit strange, but uh, yeah, it, it just doesn't work with walls at the minute. If I built a wall down here, I can't then build something on the other side of the wall. I don't know why. I don't understand it. It doesn't seem to make any sense to me, but there we go. It just doesn't work. Okay, the first thing we need to do is put... I'm going to put a large public restroom in. However... These are very expensive. If I've got 200 grand to start with, or I've got 191 grand now I've built that. These cost $70,000. They're very expensive. However, they're very big, which is good. And they are vandal proof, which is also very nice. Right. Second thing to do. Get a couple of employees in. We'll have you two at the top. And adjust their times. Because this is what I didn't do last time. I didn't adjust their times. So you're on from 7 till 3, Thomas S. And Emily T., is on from 3 to 11. So we'll always have a cleaning person on. These ones can wait at the moment. When I need a maintenance kind of person, I'll get them. The police person can possibly wait, as can the medical person. I just need to sort of rack up some profits to begin with. Okay, so we want to get some... Where is it? Where are the things? Facilities, here we go. Ticket booths. Now, these are far more expensive than the automated ticket machines. They're $800, whereas these things here are $15,000. So there's a vast, vast gulf between them. But these are better, I think. They can't be vandalised. So we're going to build three of those, which is nice. And on the other side of those, we're going to build some planter things. There we go. Just some little plant decorations. That's nice. Facilities. We want to build somewhere where people can buy some stuff. And also we want people to be able to sit down. So let's put a few benches in. Let's put, say, Mm, along here look let's have some benches along the edge so let's have one two three four and let's do the classic bench flip so we can flip it across the other side that's very nice at the end let's put uh yeah there why not trash cans that's very good also and then we just want to drop a few of these things around so you know public telephone here and there which it tells you we're in the 70s because they're a little bit archaic aren't they public telephones so public telephone, a central clock perhaps could go, uh, well, just there. That's, that's kind of central, I suppose. Information point. In fact, where's that thing there? Information stand. That could be useful. Let's pop the information stand next to that, just there. And then can we put another sort of pretty thing behind it? Informa yeah, public mailbox. That might be cool, just there. Yeah, okay, this is, this is looking better. This is looking good. Okay, so we've got basic stuff in. We've got facilities, we've got places to buy tickets, we've got places to sit. So we can click down, uh, not that one, that one, 
So platform is looking okay. Information is good. Comfort is meh, okay, but it's clean, which is good. Now what we want is we want a couple of places for people to be able to eat. So we've got here a fresh fruit stand. Now I'm going to put my food people along here. So let's pop a fresh fruit stand for $15,000 just there, which I do quite like. And uh, yeah, we will save up money for these other things. Like a newspaper stand is very good. We do want a newspaper stand. Information plus 10 points. The shoe shiner is very good as well. We do want one of those in as well. And uh, yeah, we want to put in a snack vending machine as well. Let's pop that over that side. So yeah, you can nip across to the other side. Let's put it next to the phones actually. There we go. And uh, because it's Christmas time as I record this, uh, let's just pop a Christmas tree just there in the corner. That's quite cool. Well, oh, there's a photo booth. Okay, right. I didn't see that when I played last time. Let's pop one of those in then. Let's pop that next to him just there, look. In fact, no, maybe we can have that there, look. There, that's quite nice. So that's information as well. So these all add up. These all help with the uh, the quality of the, uh, well, the current station or platform, I think I would call it more than anything else. But here we go. And now we can see that people are coming in. So we've got tickets and we've got income. Now... We want to do this with the city transit. We want to do some of this stuff here. So we've got bike parking, we've got VIP parking, commuter trolleys, all that kind of stuff. But we need some money to do that. We need some money to generate some interest in all this. Because we don't have much in the way of cash now. 37 and a half. I mean, a bicycle parking thing is 25 grand. So we're going to need to get lots of people in. Like a, I do, However, the bike things are very cool, how they work. They sort of tack onto the edge of the cycle lane. So you can't put them just there. But look, they sort of can't go there because it's too near the uh, little gateway thing. But they tack onto just there. So I'm going to build one of these anyway. I'm going to put one of those in just now. Like so. Look, and there it sort of expands the thing out. I, I quite like that. That's a nice feature. And now I'm going to take out a loan. So how much am I going to need to get city transit stuff in? Ideally, I'd want at least three more things. So taxis, four passengers an hour. Buses, 10 to 20. That's 10 to 20. That's 10 to 20. Uh, and these things go These things go all the way down here. These things, weirdly enough, can only connect down here. They go along here because, look, that's the, uh, presumably, the lines for where the, the cable thing runs along. But, uh, yeah, so we, we could put those in. They're very expensive, but they are going to end up down here, which is a little bit strange. So to get all these things in, how much are we going to need? 10, so that's 30, 60, uh, 110, 140, 180, and VIP parking. So we'd need 240 grand. If we wanted to drop every single one of those in, we'd need 240 grand. Is there a loan for 300 grand? Yes, there is. We have to pay 13,390 a day. That seems quite a lot. We can get two... Oh, it's only 30-day loan, that's why. It's a shorter loan. It's a very much shorter loan. Let's get the 200 grand loan. Let's get that. And let's hope that this works. So let's hope my city transit plan works. Okay, right. Commuter bus thing. Just there. This commuter bus thing. Just there. And this commuter bus thing. Just there. Pop the taxi rank in. Because that's quite cool. So yeah, we'll have you there as well. Okay, now do I need to do something with these? So bring them in. Uh, well, how how often can I have these? Does it cost me money? Can I just have one every every so often, like that? Can I just do it like that? City Link. Uh, oh, oh, okay. It's a national car. Ah, okay. Right, okay. Take all these off. Let me rejig these. Okay, this makes sense. Right, I I get you. So let's have yeah, tick, untick that. I'm following a person. Okay, let's do it like this then. Let's have it like that. A staggered approach. I've clicked on another person. Go away, person. So I've done that. There we go. There we go. Splendid. So now I've got buses coming in and bikes, which is quite cool. Uh, there's an underground connection. 200 grand <laughs> vandal proof. Goodness me, I didn't even see that down there. And a connection to the underground. I mean, where does that even sit? Is that one that sits down here? Oh, okay, yeah. That's, that's very expensive. I can't afford that. Let's not do that right now. Okay, so look, it's it, it's looking okay at the minute. So let's just have a check on that. We made six and a half thousand in tickets. Vending was two and a half grand. Income eight nine fifty. Right, we've got transit connections are good. We're clean. Comfort is all right. We might need some more comfort stuff. Information is looking pretty good, and the platform has one star. I don't know how to upgrade the one star of the platform. 
I don't quite know what that means. I don't. <laughs> what do they want me to do with that? I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so now I think we can buy some more of these things. So an information point. Let's put one of those down there. Uh, timetable board. These are always useful. Let's pop one of those just there and one next to him, say. Like that. Splendid. A food truck. Food trucks sound like a fun thing. So now I think we expand our floor space. We go down like that. We spend six grand on floor tiles. There we go. We can have a food bit in the middle here on the uh, other side of this. But I want, to, I want to have some more benches. So let's have some more benches like that. Uh, and yeah, another one. Yeah, put, put some more there. And then let's put some benches along that side because people might want to wait on that side. What else can we put just here? What can we put just there? How about some plants to make it look pretty? Now, does that help with platform? No, but it helps with all the other stuff. Information and comfort and such like. That's very cool. Right, yeah, we want one of those food trucks. Where are they? Uh, oh. Okay, it must be doing an autosave or something because it's entire stuff. There we go. It's sprang back into life. That was a bit worrying. Right, a food truck. Let's put the food truck uh, there, behind that board. And people can go there and buy some stuff from there. And what else do you want? Yeah, so now, where's the other rail line that comes in? Where's track two? So track two kind of comes in like that. So track two, oh, track two isn't going to be able to go in as much as that track did. Oh dear. Do I have to demolish the whole thing and start again? Do you know what? Let's just keep track one running for now. Let's just keep track one going. Having another track running is going to be really, really difficult, I think. Uh, so can we now have a little bit for automated tickets? So let's have four of those like that, back to back. So we've got eight automated ticket things. And now because we have that, we want to get ourselves some police people. Oh, there's a policeman called Butch. Butch T. Yeah, we're hiring Butch T. And uh, he can work with Annie. So Butch T does the more and oh no, Annie can do the uh, Annie can do the morning shift. Butch T can do the night shift. He he's a he's a hard nosed cop who comes out at night time. So uh, yes, till till midnight. There we go. I think that's pretty good. Yes. So she starts early till three. He then does three till midnight because he's hard. He's an hard lad. Right now we can employ you, uh, and we'll employ you as well. There we go. So for the minute, just those people. Look how many people there are coming in. Look how glorious it is. Okay, let's put a few more objects in. Just some more trash cans might be a nice addition to things. Let's put some trash cans behind that man there. Trash cans there. Can we put trash cans outside the loos? Yep, yeah, trash cans outside the loo. Uh, and maybe some more trash cans there. No, that's a bit pointless, isn't it? Trash cans at the end of the station bits? Yeah, there. That's quite nice. Oh, right. Okay, now somebody informed me last time that this meant there's thugs. That screechy tyres meant there's thugs. Right, policeman, do your thing. Or police lady. Whoever's on duty right now should be sorting this out. Because there's thugs. There are troublemakers. I believe it's these guys in the red tops. Where where are the police? Where are the cops? Uh, I can hear a bang noise. Right there, look, look, look. Where's my police person? Where's my... He's beating up the things. Oi, stop it, you scallywag. Can a member of the public not intervene with this? Come on, member of the public. Uh, no, I, I don't think our police person's around. Where is our police person? Where are they? This person's vandalising one of the ticket machines and you're not doing anything about it. I'm paying... Look, they've ruined, they've ruined the vending machine. <laughs> they've ruined the vending machine. Now they've gone away. I'm glad I employed that police person then because they proved to be worth it, didn't they? Okay, now one thing I wasn't sure is how do I clean that up? Because this happened last time. I'm not entirely sure how to... How to tidy that mess up. It was an object. Do I just do that on it? Oh, right. Yeah, okay. So I have to demolish it and then rebuild it. Okay, that's absolutely fine. We can. I'm sure we can cope with that. There we go. So for now, I think we're looking okay with what we've got. We're looking okay with what we've got. We've got quite a nice sort of setup here. This is going to be food. So we want some foodie things. In fact, we could, in theory, buy... Can we buy one of these? Like a lounge bar. That might be quite cool. And it's vandal proof as well. Oh my goodness, the lounge bar is quite big. Yes, of course it is. I did check this out briefly last time. Do you know what? I've got the loan for it. Why don't we drop a lounge bar in? There we go. I've done it. A lounge bar. I mean, I'm probably making the rest of this train station horribly disorganised. Not enough money. For what? I didn't click on anything, did I? Did I click on something? 
I didn't mean to click on anything. Right, and now let's check how much money is coming in. 12,600 coming in per day. So we've got to pay 4,390. So 44 four plus 24. So 6,800 pretty much in the salaries and the loan. But yeah, we're making 12 grand. We're paying our salaries simply from the vending options we've got. And this will start earning some more soon. The lounge bar will start raking things in. Look, there's actual people coming in and it's all busy. and It's actually working. So this is in stark contrast to the last one I had. The, the last time I played this, well, the last and only time I played this, which was, I'll be honest, it was a bit of a shambles. I mean, it probably didn't help. I didn't know what I was doing. But still, it wasn't the uh, best implemented game I've ever seen. Whereas now, yeah, we can actually do stuff with things. Oh, I'm going to put a little planter thing in to make it look pretty. Uh, again, phone boxes, why not? On the other side of there, we're not going to use that for anything. Right, there's some litter. The cleany person is cleaning stuff up. Now, I might employ another cleaning person that starts at something like 11 until, uh, I don't know, 8 or something like that just to get another cleaning person in so they should be on duty so douglas should come in right now so let's check how much money i'm making Thirty-nine thousand two hundred and fifty, and i think it's because of these i think it's these things that help the cycles and a little cycle parking thing and the the bus connections really help with that so let's speed time oh, let's click on a person let's not click on a person let's speed time on look we're on triple speed let's just watch it fly through look at this so yeah 39 grand that'll pay off that piffly 4,000 loan in fact can we pay that loan back at any point but how does the loan work get it oh no so once it's done you can't actually go and pay the loan back but look look at all the we just made an absolute ton of money 62,000 62,650 on tickets yes i will take that i will take that thank you very much look at it the money is rolling in now and this triple speed thing helps so much. It helps so much. And, yes, this, um, the fact that it, it seems to be sorted out. When I played it last time, I had a ticket booth and I had some stuff, but no one came in. Nothing happened. Nothing happened with anything. So now I think maybe they've sorted out the algorithm of who's actually coming into the station and buying tickets and whatever. Right, okay. Well, we need to sort this out. So, uh, you, you. So that's a free one. 6.30 departure at 8 is kind of a free train because the next train comes in at half 9. So half 9 to there. That means we can have a 2 till 4 which will blank out nothing else. So that's a free one. 5 till 7. We can only pick one of these. So I don't know. Whatever. That one. That takes those two out. And then we can only pick one of these as well. So we haven't got any city links at the minute. So let's pick city link. So we've got a city link, a national, a commuter, a national and a commuter. Yes, we have got many city links. Okay, that's fine. We can work on that. Right, speed time on. I would quite like to get to the end of today just to see how we did. So, that's <laughs> 69,000. we made 18 grand. 18 grand in vending. Okay, well, let's put in some more stuff. So, uh, let's put a, a mailbox thing. Oh, there's something there, I bet, isn't there? Let's put a mailbox thing in. Uh, there. There, there we go. Why not? Public mailbox, just there. That's a fun thing. Let's check facilities. So what can we build now? Let's get these other things in. A newspaper stand. People always love newspaper stands. Let's put a newspaper stand just there. And then the shoe shiner chair thing can go just there. So we can get all these things in. A small public restroom we don't need at the minute. We've got a lounge bar. We can't afford the food station at the moment. So we've got all that stuff in. We've got plenty of objects in, I believe. Uh, we need to just build more stuff. A standard buffer stop and standard train rails. So, I'm going to let this run through now. Because if you want to start building extra train rails, extra rails that come in and have another bit up here, you need to have, where is it, a control room. Now, where is that? Facilities? There. Control room. 1970 to 1980. Control more than two tracks. So, it's 100 thousand dollars well, i can't afford it anyway but um i need that if i want to have more tracks which i suspect i may do at some point so i might need track four track four might be quite a good thing to come in let's have track four coming in and that can go up here and then i might save up and just build all the tracks because i've kind of I've kind of ruined track two unless track two can come in 
Maybe track two and three can come here and just be shorter, shorter platforms or something. I don't know. We'll work that out. So right now, we are just going to, in fact, let's just speed time on. We're just going to leave this to roll for the rest of the day. I don't think we need to put anything else in. The only thing I would like to do is a food station, but I can't afford that right now. But I don't need one of those. That's just a nice to have. I've made $52,000. 52, $52,000. Right, there we go. So I've made quite a lot of money. Right, now I need to sort out the timetables. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. Just keep the same timetable. That is absolutely fine. I am okay with that. Okay, we've got 130 grand. Where can I build this thing then? Do I have to build it on something? It's in facilities, you silly man. Uh, right, I have to build it on something. There's the door. Okay, so I'm going to build it. I'm going to build it next to that. Why not? Let's just build it next to the uh, next to the loos because why not? It's in the middle, and that's absolutely fine. So I need some floor. So I need some floor space to go to say just there. Why not? And facilities. Build the control room. I think it's got doors on both sides by the look of it. So I can pop it just there. People can get in. Right, now I have a control room. I don't know how this works now. Build standard train rails. So, literally... Oh, right. I just I just go like that, do I? Oh, they're, oh, right. Standard train rails are quite expensive, everybody. Oh, they're really expensive. Not enough money. You're not you're not kidding. How much are they? Three grand a piece. So it's going to cost a lot of money to get them all the way up there. So I guess you could put a buffer stop on the end. And that would be the end of that. That'll be the end of the train there. But you'd have to put a massive station to come all the way down there. Okay, well, let's not do that. What I'm going to do is then, as long as my timetable is sorted. Yeah, the timetable's sorted. Let's just speed time on. Let's hurry it along. In fact, can we build anything? Can we build any more platform or anything? Can we Can we build any of that? I bet we can't build any more platform, can we? Uh, another 500. We can build two more platform tiles. Let's put it the right way around. Uh, there and there. There we go. Now we really have spent our money. We've got $110 and that's it. But that's as far as that platform needs to go. Unless the longer platforms mean bigger... Uh, maybe the longer pa platforms mean bigger trains and more potential passengers. Possibly. I don't know. But immediately, this game is far more playable than it was the first time I played it. Now maybe there's still some flickering going on that happened last time as well. Maybe it's because I'm significantly more used to it. That, you know, I've played it a little bit and I wasn't playing it blind like I did last time. But I do think they've obviously tweaked the balance of things. The speed thing is helpful. There's certainly less people dying on the platform. There's significantly less dirt. Now, yes, I do have some cleaners on site at the minute. But still, there's significantly less grime and grot than there was before. And um, yeah, it actually seems to be profitable. It seems to actually make money, which is a good thing. Because previously, when I did it last time, I hardly made any monies. So this is very good. And I, I, do you know what? I am quite enjoying this. I'm enjoying this now. So what we're going to do is, let's wait until the end of today. Wait till the end of day four. Get paid. And let's see what we can do with track four. Okay, so we've got to the end of the day. I've been paid. The timetable is absolutely fine. However, there is a crack in the floor. Now, do I have an employee? Do I have one of those? Right, I do. He will start at 7 o'clock and he will fix this crack in the floor. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Baddies. Baddies. Is anyone on thingy at 2.40 in the morning? Right, okay. Okay, this could be bad. 3 o'clock. Uh, I know 7 a.m. Oh, there's no one on. My train station is completely at the behest of the vandals. And there's not even any doors to protect me. Okay, they're going to vandalise something. I do like the fact that these... <laughs> that the fruit stand... And, and the information stands have people on it all the time. I don't pay for those people. <laughs> they, just, they just locked behind there forever. Oh, they're going to go for the vending machine again. Or the, or the trash cans. I'll fill your boots, dudes. Whatever. Whatever. I don't care. Right. Good. We'll sort that out. We'll repair the stuff that they, the damage they cause. Okay. Right. Back to build. Let's put some standard train rails in then. Let's see how far up we can get this. Oh, don't tell me that it's going to... It's going to get interrupted by a flipping tree. To knock the tree down. Work it out. Not enough money. Not enough money to knock a tree down. What? How can I not knock the tree? I don't understand. No, I'm on, I'm on bulldoze mode. Bulldoze the tree. There we go. Bulldoze the tree. Fine. In fact, bulldoze all the trees that are along that route. There. Fine. Good. Uh, right. Train rails. <laughs> there we go. Back to where we were. Yeah, okay. So we still can't get it quite up to where we want it to go to. We want it to be level with that one, ideally. 
But uh, no, alas, no. Right, did the vandals cause any damage? No, I don't believe they did. Maybe they just went away? I can't see anything that's fallen apart. Maybe they came in looking for a fight with some other people and thought, oh, there's no one here, this is rubbish. Okay, well, let's speed time on. I want the man to come in and mend this broken floor. That would be quite nice if he could come in and sort that out as soon as possible. But then, um, other than that, what we're going to do is, where is he? He should start at 7 o'clock, it says. 7 o'clock our maintenance man should begin work. Where is he? Where is the maintenance man? Start 7 a.m. Can we find you? Are we able to work out where you are? Dennis T? No. Okay, there's no way that we can actually sort of identify exactly what he's doing. But I'm going to go out on a limb here and say he's not doing his job because he's only got one thing to do and he's not doing it. So, uh, yes, I would say he's not doing this. Do we need to tell him to repair it? We shouldn't do. There's nothing to click on. There's nothing to actually do. So he should come and fix that himself. He's not, you lazy ike. Uh, okay, right. How much money are we making? Yep. A nice tidy amount of money. It pays for our salaries. It pays for the bank loans. That is absolutely fine. And what we're going to do is we are going to leave it there. We're going to leave it there for now. But unlike last time, we are going to come back to this because it's working. It's actually working and it's become a viable thing. Um, how long have I got to pay my loan for? 30 days. Oh, no. That one, wasn't it? 60 days. Good grief. Only on day five. Isn't that to the end of the game? Haven't I only got, yeah, 56 days. So essentially, I'm going to be paying 4390 every day on that loan. Okay, that's fine. So what we'll do is next time out, we'll extend this track up. We might need to leave it running for a couple of days just to make sure we've got the money. Extend the track up so it's kind of level with that one. And uh, yeah, build a platform around it. Get another train scheduled in. And then build more station around that and see how that goes because that'll be quite cool because we'll be able to get more trains and more timetables and then we'll see what we can do with these ones down here maybe just have these as shorter tracks now i know that they're there i kind of thought they're a bit further apart to be honest but yes we'll have these as shorter platforms coming down here perhaps and we'll build some more stuff down here but yeah i think we can make this work and i am very impressed well done devs of this game i'm sorry i didn't note down who you were before but well done devs of this game for actually making it a viable thing. Because when I first played it, I was sorely unimpressed. I was looking forward to this quite a lot. And it fell quite a lot short of my expectations. And this has been given a proper shot in the arm. This has been given a very, very big shot in the arm. With a very big needle full of very powerful things. And that, yeah, it's now actually working. And it's viable, it's playable. And it's it's actually quite enjoyable. In the, I'm, I'm sure it'll... Yeah, there's a few bugs and things still in it. But... It's actually playable and I'm enjoying playing it, which is a good thing, which is what I hope from this all along from when I saw it a little while ago on Steam. And yeah, it's good and we shall come back and we shall carry on and we'll see if we can finish this challenge. So yeah, 56 days to complete. So 56 more days. Crikey's okay, we could be playing this little scenario for a long time. But yes, we shall crack on. If you have enjoyed this, please do leave a like and uh, yeah, please subscribe because we are going to make this a series. There was a lady walking on the train roof. It looked like there was a lady walking on the train roof. Do not walk on the roof of train. Lady, get off the train roof. It's very dangerous. I will be in trouble with all sorts of people if you keep walking on train roofs. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yes. Uh, please do subscribe. Do subscribe to keep up to date with this series and all the other stuff we get up to as well. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard. And I will see you next time. How are we doing? You've just circumvented the queue. You, sir, are cheap. Oh, my goodness me. There's 12 million people that just come in from an airplane. Are you a skeleton? Are you just Skeletor? Is that all it is? You, madam. You are a pain. You are a scourge upon this earth. People are urinating on the floor.